Thursday, August 28th. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. Karateka was kind of a breakthrough when it first came out. It one-upped its text adventure still image predecessors and presented a new sense of perspective space. Popularised on the Apple II and Commodore 64 home computers of the mid-80s, the game actually worked best on a computer known as the Acorn Archimedes, which just happened to be a British computer that was well ahead of its time, I might add. While Karateka saw its release a full quarter of a century ago, an eternity in the computer gaming world, let's consider another game that's been around much longer. Archaeologists have uncovered a giant labyrinth of underground caves in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula that could be a route to understanding the Mayan perception of the afterlife. According to legend, a dead soul would follow dogs with night vision through underground mazes filled with giant spiders, bats and monsters. Oh my! In an attempt to gain entrance to the afterlife. Contemporary Western civilization, of course, perceives the afterlife differently. In other near-death-like lifestyles, John McCain's presidential run continues to enrage the visiting choirs by deflecting attention from his own political offerings towards spun-up tales of inner democratic rivalry. She won millions of votes, but isn't on his ticket. Why? For speaking the truth on his plans. You never hear the specifics. On the Resco scandal. We still don't have a lot of answers about Senator Obama. And in this ad hominem appeal to emotion, many suggest lowly attempts to sway are at work. The truth hurt, and Obama didn't like it. Acting President George Bush is also busy attacking the Democratic-led Congress, blaming them for the huge increase in gas prices since his inception. After annoying too many with relentless badgering over expanded offshore drilling, Bush has been forced to take his arguments to the outer continental shelf to increase domestic oil supplies, cementing his position as a leader in the fight against environmental destruction. Once again. And with recent revelations that the Diebold electronic voting machine, used in 34 states, has been dropping votes for as long as 10 years now, we can only hope that the US doesn't end up with the wrong president in office. Once again. Maybe someone should consider giving each of the candidates a solar panel tie. This innovative fashion peripheral can actually recharge your gadgets, listening devices, and automatic machine guns. Discreetly. The Arcade Ambience project by Andy Hoffel attempts to simulate the feeling of being in a crowded arcade room during what he refers to as the golden age of arcades in the 1980s. The boss. 